Welcome to how to get three BC Cloud Sandboxes for $6 per month. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, this video is a follow up to a video that I made almost three years ago, uh, I think, on the channel. And I think the title was something about how to get a free uh, Cloud Sandbox. Um, and, and the way the procedure in that video, Microsoft no longer allow so uh, this is kind of the uh, a, a follow-up um, the 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 cheapest way i know of of getting as access to business central um and um, it's more or less the, the same as the other video but we gotta you know we gotta shell up a couple of bucks for this actually to work um so let's do that and the first place we need to go is this page it's called signup.microsoft.com this is where you create a new tenant um, and we need that so i will go and um, so there's uh, we can we can create microsoft accounts for personal view uh, personal use that's the the old live or outlook.com uh, kind of uh, accounts we don't want that we want the the, the weird uh, this is not a uh, whatever cycle that is so we need to click on sign up for microsoft 365 and um, now we're in that, and and uh, we got four different options. Um, I think actually all of them will work. The one I want to do here now, because that's the cheapest, is one to called called business. So I select that one, and uh, you can see that that is six dollars uh, US dollars. I'm in Canada, so I will uh, switch to Canadian dollars. They are at a different exchange rate so that's seven seven so we got four options depending on how many things you want to want to use uh, and uh, i'll just go with the, the business basic one so the first thing we need to do is we need to put in an email and uh, the email i need to put in has to be um something that enforces uh that will not microsoft it cannot be an email from an existing tenant it has to be like an, an email for for something so i am gonna blur the screen and then i'm going to put in a uh, an email that microsoft don't know about um and I get a, a screen that says, let's get started. Looks like you need to create a new account. Let's you get started. So I'll click on set up account. Um, so that brings us to a page that looks like this. So I can put in my, my name here and then I'm gonna blow the screen again and put in a uh, phone number. Uh, I'm gonna put in a company name, a company size, just one person. I'm in Canada. And I would not like to hear from Microsoft and I would not like to share my information with Microsoft. So I click next. Uh, so we need to have a phone number and, uh, and, and now it's going to text me a verification code. So on this page, tell, tell us about yourself, a text or a phone call, help us make sure that this is you. So, uh, I click send a verification code and hopefully I get that back very very soon that's it i got it here so i can tell you my verification code. that's eight two six nine one one i click verify and um, now we get to how you will sign in so this is where you create your tenant so i would like to sign in as eric at uh, not hogard.com, I will or dot on Microsoft.com. I would like to uh, cheap BC now. What should we do? Hogard Playground. Hogard Playground on dot on Microsoft.com. Click save for that. So we need to verify because you know Microsoft dot microsoft and there's a lot of those already taken so i can put in a uh, password here uh, 
signing you in. Please refresh. Please do not refresh. I'll just blur this because I can't remember what uh, information is on the next page. Um, so this one is okay. So now, quantity and payment. The first month is free. So I will just sign up for one, um, one account here. So I can click add payment method. And uh, now I am going to put in my credit card number. So I will blur the screen again. Um, see if I can even remember a credit card number. That's pretty close. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna fill in my all my information on where I live and see if we can get all this right at first try. I click save on that. And I think Microsoft likes my credit card. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's still going, it's still going. Working on it. So now I am in a page that says review and confirm. First month is free. Uh, I got one user, I got a, an, an address, uh, I got a payment method, and uh, I click yes to start trial. We're adding products to your account. This will take a minute. And maybe, so So the whole idea is that as soon as we got a tenant, what we can do is that we can go to, to, to trials.dynamics.com and start a business central trial. Uh, and that one will kind of just last forever. Uh, there is a trial within the trial. This is what very weird that you can, you can start a 30 day, uh, 30 day trial. Um, and, um, and then you have a trial in a trial, but don't do that. So uh, I think we can unblur this now. So thank you for choosing Microsoft 365 Business Basic. Um, so we got an, an, an account name here that I'll just save. And uh, then I can uh, start using Microsoft 365. But actually, that's not what I want to do. So now I just want to be able to use this account. So I need to, to log in. And I guess that is not really needed. So I can just click continue, I guess. Um, but this one is now the wrong account. Interesting now, because I'm already logged in. So let's actually start another one and go to admin.microsoft.com and say that we want to log into the playground. It works. So I am logged into my organization here in admin center. All is good. So let's try to go to trials.dynamics.com. 
Uh, and we don't care about all these other dynamics. The one we want is business central. So I will put in my new account. Looks like you're already a customer. Sign in. I am in Canada. I still do not like to hear from Microsoft. Sorry, Microsoft, but I know you guys. You know me. Well, not this version of me, but, but I get enough emails from you guys. Um, your username, and I can send invitations. Skip now. I'm, I'm good with that. So get started. And there it is, a business central. Uh, I don't need it. Wow, that's actually new. I haven't seen that before. Maybe, do we want it? No, we'll skip the survey. For the interest of video links, we'll skip the survey. I wonder if we can trigger that again. So getting started. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Here is business center. I, and I'm actually in, so so I said three sandboxes. In Rails, you're also getting a a, a production environment, um, which is, well, it's not a sandbox, but it is a, uh, it, it is an environment. So, but since the, I named the video sandboxes, what I need to do is, Wait for this thing to finish circling. And then I can create myself a sandbox, type sandbox, country, Canada, and version 22.1. Great. And we can see that I have my tenant ID up here in the URL. Uh, so if we want to complete this, maybe I should fire up Visual Studio Code. Um, and let's create a new app, it'll go. And I'll just go and do working YouTube too. Cloud Sandbox for six bucks. We're going to do Runtime 11. And we want to do a Cloud Sandbox. And now it's connecting to whatever. So let's change launch JSON and go and grab the tenant ID up here and add in a tenant, that value, and I'll clear credential cache, and then say download symbols, uh, copy and open. Um, now we're starting a wrong browser, I think. So uh, let's try to do that again, download symbols. Uh, go to this page in this browser and grab that. Wow, Let's see if I can do that. Grab that code and put in here. We already signed in as the Hogarth Playground. We are signed in. So now this is probably gonna break here because our sandbox is not completely up and running. It's still in preparing here. So in 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 a few seconds we sh we should be 
be ready to to work on this one. Um, but while that is doing, let's let's repeat how we got to to here. That we started all the way back at at sign up. We signed up for a Microsoft three six five um, account. Uh, we purchased at this point. We haven't really, I haven't paid anything. It's a thirty month uh, thirty day a one month free trial. Uh, but I did put in my credit card, so going forward, it will cost me six dollars uh, a month to keep this alive. Um, and when we were done with that, we went into uh, to trials dot microsoft trials dot dynamics dot com, um, and simply opened up uh, Business Central. Um, and the last thing we did here was creating a new sandbox. And this one is still in prepare. But we have a, a trial Business Central ready to go. Um, so using plenty of videos of me doing uh, getting symbols down from a sandbox. So I think I will actually say that that's how you get a cloud sandbox and and there's a valid question that i, I want to address because someone said well but you might as well use a docker image yeah and and a lot, for a lot of things docker is great uh and and now where with version 22 microsoft changed the 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 whole what can you do with a chronos license so you can actually do a lot in a docker uh uh, sandbox now without even having an official dev key uh, but there's a lot of things that does not exist in the in in, in the docker sandbox does does not work which all the integration bits, bits to the rest of microsoft now with 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 this and i think actually let's uh, let's just go here for a second and and let's do another thing so this one is still running so let's just talk about the extent. So if I go to uh, Hogard Playground dot SharePoint dot com, here is the SharePoint for my tenant. So so not only do we get one, you know, what we we pay for that one uh, mailbox uh, that one uses, but we have a trial PC. We have a not a trial SharePoint. That's a true SharePoint. So we got all those things that were back. If we look at uh, where was the on the, the the sign up? Uh, we go to the sign up. And we click business, and we get to this guy, right? And we just ignore the stay thing. So we got online Word, online Excel, online PowerPoint. We got Teams running here. We got Outlook, of course. There was a OneDrive and SharePoint and Exchange because we got a mailbox. Uh, and uh, the OneDrive has one terabyte of cloud storage, by the way. Um, so we, we get an awful lot for those $6 a month, including the trial version of Business Central, which is why we were here in the first place, and now the sandbox is active. So let's actually go and download those symbols again. And bingo, bingo, bingo. We have a fully working sandbox. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, so if you can spare six bucks a month, this is a great way to get a a, a fully functional uh, business central uh, environment with all bells and whistles because it's a real tenant and you got all the all the things. So let me know in the comments below if this works for you. Let me know in the comments below if you know other way to uh, to get around to this cheaper, better, faster, slower. Um, and um, I'll see you in the next video, which. Might not be the one lined up here, but this one is a good one. I'll see you in there one too. Take care.